Something wrong here. This film is coming up all over the place. I... Well, Harv, what happened? Oh, I'm having lots of trouble here with this film. Would you like a little help? I sure could use something. Okay, I'll show you how the automatic projector works. Oh, that would be fine. I could study that and get something out of this mess. Using the 16 millimeter projector, part three, threading. That's exactly what I need. And with this instruction, I'll be able to work it out real fine. There are four areas in a projector that are important. And I'm outlining them right here. The trimming lever we covered in part one. But now bring your attention to lever two. This lever is to be moved forward to engage the threading channel. Now move up to the power switch and you're going to put the power switch forward to the motor position. Then you take your lead film and insert it under roll number four. Until it catches, it goes down through the threading channel, out the back of the projector, you shut the projector off, and then insert the film into the slot on the take-up reel. And this completes the automatic section. Hey, Har, that was great. You did such a good job on that. I think you're ready for something a lot more advanced, like the manual projector. And I have a book that's just right for you. Here it is. That looks like a good idea. I'll study it and see how much I can learn. You start manual threading by first opening up this dust cover. There you can see the lamp that's inside. And then removing the lens, popping it open, and having about three feet of film available. Start lifting the pressure levers and carefully threading the film around the drive knob. Then back in the film gate area, being sure the film sets in there properly. There's another pressure plate around the sound drum. Again, being very careful not to damage the film. There's a lower gate that needs to be opened. Getting it in there snugly, then closing that. Checking that there is a proper snug condition, being sure there is a loop at the top, making your final adjustments, closing down that particular pressure lever again, checking to see that it seats in there properly, checking, then bringing your lens around and snapping that in and then carefully checking things over and closing your dust cover door. Taking the excess film that is out the back and like we did on the automatic threading, finding the slot in the take-up reel and carefully taking the slack out of the film. This completes the manual threading. A lot of practice is needed for this, and a useful aid is found in the owner's manual, the threading guide. Congratulations, Harv. That manual sure was a big help.